typeset and printed in secrecy. A thousand copies of the proclamation were produced on a letterpress printing machine in Liberty Hall in Dublin on the eve of the Easter Rising. Volunteers at the National Print Museum are replicating the process. The metal type used for the script is set by hand and the letters bound and locked into place, creating an image of the page. Not an easy task for those printing the original document. Several of the lines of of type have uh, wrong fonts in them. They used, I think it was 19 E's that were not of the same font. Because they ran out of E's, the proclamation was actually printed in two halves. Each half was printed on a Wharfdale stop cylinder press, one of which has recently been acquired and restored by the museum. The belt was the major one, the belt was broken, and the belt was ancient, so I had to check around and found a place down in Wicklow that made belting. I've been a printer since 1947. I worked at the industry for nearly 40 odd years. And I think when you're a printer, the smell of prints and paper and ink is in your blood. 150 years ago, the Wharfdale helped revolutionize the printing industry. The first machine to use a traveling bed, it could print up to 800 pages an hour. It's now being used by the museum to mark a different kind of revolution, printing replicas of the proclamation in time for the centenary of the Easter Rising in 2016. Sharon Gaffney, RTE News, Dublin.